Daily Wire has this report. Social media platform Instagram has been accused of helping to facilitate connections between a vast pedophile network, according to a report from the Wall Street Journal and academic researchers. The journal, alongside researchers at Stanford University and the University of Massachusetts Amherst, reported that Instagram allowed and promoted accounts that openly buy and commission underage sex content. Quote, Instagram connects pedophiles and guides them to content sellers via re recommendation systems that excel at linking those who share these interests, the journal and the academic researchers found. The researchers found that Instagram enabled people to search explicit hashtags such as, quote, pedo whore and, uh, that, or, or hashtag pedo whore and hashtag preteen pre sex. So these are hashtags that you that on Instagram you can search. And Instagram apparently has not disabled those hashtags, which, which it could easily do. And that connects them to accounts that use the terms to advertise child sex material for sale. Accounts who post menus, quote unquote, that offer inappropriate content, including imagery of the minor performing sexual acts with animals. That, that's in quotes. Um, other menus reportedly offered videos of children hurting themselves or meetups with kids. So, I mean, it's, it's hard to even read this, but uh, to summarize, on Inst on Instagram, there is this coordinated uh, effort and conspiracy among a vast network of pedophiles to prey on kids and to share uh, this kind of material. And Instagram apparently allows it. I mean, there's there's a lot of really basic things they could do to shut a lot of this down, and uh, apparently they are not doing it. So what do we do about that? Father's Day is coming up, and this Father's Day, let your dad unleash his inner grill master. Whether he prefers a sizzling steak or savory grilled chicken, look no further than the gift of meat from our friends at Good Ranchers. Good Ranchers offers ribeyes, New York strips, T-bones, all-natural burgers, and all the most delicious chicken you could ever want. Plus, right now, you get $30 off with our code Walsh at GoodRanchers.com. Good Ranchers also offers a price lock guarantee for the next two years as well. Imagine if you could have locked in your price two years ago, you would have saved hundreds of dollars. Not sure how to grill the perfect steak? Well, they have tons of recipes on their website, like our favorite, How to Cook a Steak Better Than Gordon Ramsay, uh, which is uh, quite a promise, but it does deliver. Whether your dad is a steak lover, a barbecue enthusiast, or just enjoys a good old-fashioned burger, Good Ranchers has something for everyone. Order today and make this Father's Day a sizzling success. Head to GoodRanchers.com. Use our code Walsh for $30 off any box. That's promo code Walsh at GoodRanchers.com. GoodRanchers.com. American meat delivered. Well, I mean, on, on the legal end, for one thing, you start holding these platforms accountable. Like, accountable, and in, in what I mean by that is burning them to the ground, legally speaking. If they aren't doing anything to prevent, you know, um, child pornography from being distributed on their platform, to prevent children from being actively preyed upon on their platforms, This thing where they are totally exempt from any kind of liability whatsoever has to end. That's the first thing that needs to be done. And then the second thing, which is really the first thing on an individual basis, is that we as parents have to uh, make some decisions about whether or not we're going to allow our kids onto these platforms. And to me, as you know, because I'm on this, uh, uh, you know, I'm standing on the soapbox every single day. It's an easy decision. You don't you don't allow your kids on these platforms. You don't give them the phones with internet access. This is what you're giving them access to, or more more specifically, this is who you are giving. Uh, who you? This is who your who will be able to access your kids. So it's not just about what your kids can access. It's now that it's it's that your kids are now accessible for all these perverts and degenerates out there. It really is. Allowing your kid on a social media platform, it is, it is very similar to dropping your 10-year-old off at some CD bar downtown for the day and leaving them there and you know going to run errands or something. When you think about all the people who are there, who, are, who your, your child is now, is now totally vulnerable and is in this in completely inappropriate, to say the least, environment for a child. Not at all equipped to navigate it, to be able to protect themselves, to understand what the risks are. 
And that's, that's the downside to putting your kids on these platforms. What the hell is the upside? What is the up? We know what the downside is. You let your kid on the social media platforms. The downside is uh, they become totally obsessed with it. They, they you know, forfeit their actual childhood in favor of like the screen. They become addicted to the screen. They don't know how to even be a, they don't know how to socialize anymore. They don't know anything. They just, they're, they're constantly, their lives become absorbed by the screen. That's one consequence. The other even greater consequence is uh, all of the horrific content and material they're now going to be exposed to. And all of the degenerate monsters who can access your kids now. Those are all the downsides, along with many other downsides. What is the upside? And I can't think of I can't think of any upside, actually. I cannot think of any upside to allowing your child on something like Instagram. And even if you could think of one, I don't think it's going to be one that outweighs all the downsides I just listed. And yet, even though it's all downside, and these are major, I say downside, these are like major, major problems. And there's nothing on the other side, on the other end to, to, to counterbalance that. Still, you've got millions of parents who say, yeah, well, you know, go ahead. I mean, it's mind boggling to me. If you'd like to see what else I have to say, you can access my full show by going to dailywire.com or by going to the Matt Wall Show Twitter page. Hope to see you there. Godspeed.